Hey, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, and you're cooking with Jack. And it is the Romantic Dinner Valentine's episode. That's right, I'm going to teach you guys, this is considered a guy episode, okay? I'm going to teach the guys how to make dinner for their ladies. Or if you're just making dinner for a girl you just met, and you like her, and you want to impress her. That's what this episode's about. It's going to be real simple. But since it's a surprise, and girls shouldn't be watching right now, I'm going to ask all the ladies to please not watch this episode, okay? So, yep, turn it off. I'll wait. <laughs> All right, to turn it off? Okay, because if you're still here, I I'm not responsible for what I'm about ready to say because it's all guy talk, okay? All right, so let's get started. And I have a few points I want to cover. I made some notes because I'm a guy. <laughs> I can't remember anything. Um, all right, guy tip number one. Guys, eat before you eat. Most of you know what I'm talking about. That's right. You're going to eat before you have dinner with your lady because men are pigs. <laughs> Somebody had to say it, all right? So do yourself a favor, eat before you eat. This way eating isn't more important than the lady you're with. And you can eat slow and you don't wolf your food down. Trust me, we all, <laughs> it just kills me. So just trust me, eat before you eat. That's guy tip number one. Guy tip number two, okay? Do not make a dinner. Now, you don't have to do what I'm doing for dinner, but I'm giving you this, an example. Do not make a dinner that has pasta in it, okay? Don't do a heavy starch dinner. You're not gonna do like a meatloaf and you're not gonna do anything that's gonna sit heavy in her stomach. Last thing you wanna do is fill your lady up on Valentine's, all right? All right, so at least with, uh, with the dinner that you're gonna be cooking, you're gonna to wanna to keep it light, trust me on this. They're not going to want a heavy dinner. And they may enjoy a heavy dinner, but that's gonna be the end of your night, so, you know, it's up to you. All right, so the next thing, no onions and no garlic, okay? You can, I mean, you can do a little onion salt, a little garlic salt and whatever you make, but no onions involved in the dinner, no garlic involved in the dinner. You do not want bad breath, just trust me on that one, all right? Oh, you're gonna thank me later. Okay, so none of that, keep it out of there. The other thing, oh, the last thing, do me a favor. If you're old enough to shave, shave. Uh, all of you should shower, do your hygiene, okay? If you're gonna go through all the work of impressing a lady for dinner, smell nice, look nice. But, now get a pen and paper, okay? But do not wear any cologne. Just don't do it. Last thing you want her to do is to bite into her dinner and smell polo or smell your axe, you know, flavor of the month or something, okay? So do not wear cologne to dinner. Just trust me on that one too. So we're gonna start the video off with dessert, okay? And I'm gonna get into the dessert part uh, first because you're gonna probably make that first. You're gonna put that away and you're gonna save it in the refrigerator uh, you're gonna make as much as you can ahead of time so the night of the dinner you don't have to panic and there's not a lot to do, okay? But let me tell you this, the only people I think that should make dessert are people who aren't old enough to get in a car and drive their, their lady to a place to go have dessert. I honestly encourage you, do not make dessert if you don't have to, okay? Take her out, go for a walk, go grab an ice cream, go get, grab a split of candied apple, get a milkshake, take her out somewhere for dessert, all right? All right, so let's talk, uh, let's talk dessert. We're gonna be using the Philadelphia Ready to Eat Cheesecake Filling. This stuff's great. All you're gonna do is rip this open, take all the cheesecake filling out of this container, and you're gonna put it in this pie crust. That's it. And then you're gonna chill it, you can cut it and serve it. It's delicious. Ladies like cheesecake, easy to do. It goes right in there like that. No, no, not like that. Okay, but before, before you fill this crust, remember, if this is one of those frozen, ready-to-go crusts like this one is that I got in the store, you're gonna want to defrost it to room temperature. You're gonna poke some holes in the bottom. You're gonna poke some holes in the side. Then you gotta bake this, so remember, this has got to be baked first. It's not cooked yet. It's just dough. Preheat the oven 400 degrees, 12 to 15 minutes to the golden brown, whatever you like. Then we're going to place this inside it and smooth it all around. It's going to be beautiful. 
All right, so there we go. That's what it looks like at 400 degrees after 15 minutes. Nice golden brown. Got a little pull tab. This is too easy, guys. Look at this. Got a pull tab. Looks like butter, right? I'm just going to plop it in there. Look at that. You can move it around. Don't worry. It's not going to kill you. you whoop. Whoa. Oh. Yeah, it will kill you. Let's put that. <laughs> let's put that crust back there. We got to be careful. Is it hot still? It's a little warm. And you're just going to start smushing it in. Okay. All right. A pastry chef, I am not. But I'll tell you something. Women love cheesecake. And if it tastes like cheesecake, they don't care what it looks like. So there you go. You can decorate it with some, uh, some nut topping. You can put some cherries on top. You can put whatever you want. I like it plain like this. Because when I serve it, I'm going to drizzle some chocolate on. I'll show you that right now. Now, this is how you're going to serve this. Watch carefully. Here's a little trick that my mom taught me. Now, first thing you're going to do is... Get some kitchen shears, make sure they're clean, wash them, because you're going to cut your food with this, just, just a little bit. You're going to snip, how should I say, yeah, you're going to snip the piece you want to cut. So if I'm going to cut a piece from here to here, I'm going to snip right through the crust and right through the, the pan, okay? And then I'm going to snip another piece like that, right through the crust, right through the pan. The beauty of this is this, see, the problem with, and I'll show you how to, now you're going to finish cutting your piece. Okay. This will be a lot easier if you chill this for a little bit. But I want to show you right now. You peel that back. I right, like that. Just pull it. There you go. Look at that. Then you can put your, like your knife underneath. Beautiful. Voila. Take a little spoon, a little melted hot fudge. And gently, ever so gently, drizzle across, drizzle across, drizzle across, come back, just a little bit. Okay, there you go. It's time to talk the main course. We're going to prepare this. This is another thing you do the night before. Okay, now I went out and I bought some chicken breast. Okay, I went and looked at the boneless chicken breast that looks like this. And like a package that I would need for dinner would cost about 10, 12 bucks. I thought, wow, that's awfully expensive. So I went a little bit to the right and I found the one that had the rib cage or the ribs inside. It's just like a one big bone here structure. And I, so I got that because it was like half the price. I thought, wow, that's great. I'll save uh, half my money. So I cut the bone right out and now it looks like the boneless. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna take your favorite jar of salsa, okay? I chose the cilantro salsa because I know my wife likes the cilantro salsa. Okay, then you're going to take a Ziploc baggie like this, put all your chicken in there and you're going to open this jar and pour it in there and you're going to zip it closed. And when you do, it's going to look like this. It's going to be all smushed in there. You're going to mix it up. All right. This is called salsa chicken. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be amazing. Now I went with a medium one. I don't recommend if it's somebody you don't know, go with a mild salsa. Okay. Put it in the bag, zip it closed, let all the air out, and set that in the refrigerator overnight. Now what you're gonna do with this is, once this chicken's set overnight, you're gonna take it and you can grill it, you can bake it, you can broil it, you can do whatever you want with this. Cook the chicken. Okay, you're gonna start your dinner off with a salad. You're gonna use a nice dish. Do me a favor, guys. Do not serve her a salad in the Tweety Bowl, okay? You don't do that. I don't care if you have to go out to the 99 cent store and get cheap, white, hard plastic bowls. I don't care. But do not put any cartoon characters. I use this all the time on the show. But I would never serve my wife or your girlfriend or anybody, other lady, without a nice dish, okay? So you're going to take a dish and you're going to take some cherry tomatoes and you're going to take a bag of lettuce. You know the salad mixes they sell? They sell them everywhere. A couple dollars. You can get enough. I got the family pack. You don't need one this big, okay? And then you have a nice salad. You're going to start off with this, and you're going to allow her to put her own dressing on. This one is a balsamic vinaigrette. Almost everybody likes balsamic vinaigrette. Uh, it's, it's like Italian. It's close to an Italian. Or get Italian dressing if you can't get balsamic vinaigrette, all right? It's light. It's not heavy. Okay, now let's take care of the vegetable. This is the vegetable of the day. 
okay? It's gonna be your dinner vegetable. You can do whatever you want with this. Once we've cooked this, you can drizzle some Velveeta cheese over it, just a little bit. You can do salt and pepper. You can do whatever you want, okay? But you're going to cook this in the microwave for six minutes. You remember my video from, uh, it was the uh, microwave tips video, okay? That showed you how to cook uh, vegetables in the microwave. Okay, broccoli's cooking right now, so I'm gonna take my marinated chicken and I'm gonna place it in here. We're gonna cook this up right now in the broiler and we'll bring it back out when it's done. Baked potatoes. These you want done somewhat around the time your chicken's done, okay? So you're gonna wanna start those about the time you put, them, uh, you put your chicken in the oven. All right, here's how you prep them. Wash your potatoes. Give her the smaller of the two, once again. Do not fill her up. She's probably not gonna eat the whole thing anyway, but get a nice, uh, a normal looking size. Don't get those monstrosity ones, okay? You're gonna take a fork and you're gonna gently poke holes all throughout the potato. Now, let's put those bad boys in the microwave. Uh, I roughly, I'll let you know about how long it takes. These are normal medium sized potatoes. I'm gonna guess between seven and 10 minutes. So let's get them in and find out how long. I just tested this potato here. These two potatoes took nine minutes, not 10, okay? You're not gonna cut the potato in half. You're just gonna cut basically from here, almost the end, come halfway down, across, okay? Do the same thing here, almost across, but not all the way. You're just gonna put a cross in the middle of that, okay? You guys have probably seen this before. It's gonna be very hot, so let this cool a little more. I'm just showing you in the video. You're gonna take the four corners, you're gonna press them in, it should flower out, like that, okay? Then you're gonna take your butter stick and you're gonna place that right in the center, okay? Give that a few minutes and that will melt. Once that melts in, you can top it off a little dollop of sour cream. Just a little pinch of chive on top. And there you go, that's how you serve it. Look how beautiful that turned out. Ooh, right out of the broiler. Got some cleaning to do on the pan, but I don't care because I'm gonna be smooching tonight. All right, here we go. Let's get this plated and show you how it looks. Ah, oh, look at that. Look how beautiful that chicken breast came out. Fully cooked, but moist. Got all the flavoring of the salsa in it. You got beautiful greens, a loaded baked potato. You got a beautiful green salad, nice and healthy. And you've got a lovely dessert. Remember, women love desserts. So you serve this. This is your level one romantic dinner. She's gonna love you. If you ain't smooching before the night's over, there's something wrong. Okay. Let's try it out, you ready? Take a piece of the chicken. Oh. You didn't see that, did you? Okay. Mmm. Mmm, right on. Good heat from the salsa. Oh, wow. It totally tenderized it. Mm-hmm. Let's try the potato. Smooth, creamy, warm, delicious. This is it, right here. You ready for this? I'm gonna blow your mind before you go. I calculated my shopping receipt. All that I showed you to make this dinner cost me $24.81 uh, American US dollars, okay? $24.81, can you believe that? For all of this? I'm telling you, and even include a dessert. So try it out, take some pictures, shoot some video, let me know how it works for you, okay? You got plenty of time to get ready for that romantic dinner. Enjoy yourself, and I'll see you on the next episode of Cooking with Jack.